Thank you for staying with us. Remember two weeks ago, we talked about estate planning. Mm. And uh, when we saw that, we were thinking, oh, okay, they're planning to build an estate. Okay, what neighborhood? <laughs> so, <laughs> and then the lady said, no, it's not that kind of estate planning. This is planning for the rest of your life. And the life after you have gone, something like that. Okay. That discussion continues today. And uh, it's my pleasure to welcome the head, private trust at FBN Quest Trustees, Mr. Rotimi Obe Obende. 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 Yes. Obende. You need to tell Microsoft to put some. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, Mr. Obende. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Mm. Now, we have started this discussion. We started this discussion about two weeks ago. Obviously, there's, there's still a lot more that you want to tell us about estate planning. Oh, yeah. That's why you're here today. Yes, ma'am. So, what are the common misconceptions that people have about planning an estate. It's like, so you guys want me to die, right? Or you all are planning to kill me soon? Hmm. Um, so <laughs> I would say clearly that's the first misconception. <laughs> because when you start discussing estate planning with people, they just assume that, ah, you want me to die. But that's not the intention. So that's the first misconception <laughs> that people have. Second misconception is what you started with. People think that estate planning means that I must have an estate. <laughs> or people think that I must be worth a certain amount of money. That is also a misconception. We've seen people in this environment, um, I say this lightly, where a family is fighting over a 32 inches black and white television. Yes. So it is not the... Which kind? Is it smart TV? <laughs> is it smart TV? Because it's, it's black, black and white. white. So it cannot be, it cannot be smart. <laughs> so it's, it means that the people fighting for that black and white TV are not smart themselves. No. So it depends on level now. So for when, when we talk about estate planning and I say that people think it's for the wealthy people, it, you would say that a black and white 32 inches TV is not anything not of value anything. to you. Yeah. But it's of value to some other persons. Are we not talking and, about that TV where they carry something for back? Yes, now. Nah. <sighs> that you need to put fix a pole on and you start turning to find signals. <laughs> <laughs> So if the TV is not smart and some people are fighting over it, will we then say those people are smart? Anyway, don't so don't. Do I would say that the man that owned the asset was the one that was not smart, not deciding who should eventually inherit that. Because for you, it's not of value, but to them, it's of, it's of value. Is it still working? It's still working. <laughs> oh really? Yes. <laughs> 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 so that's that's another misconception that people have that I have to own a lot a lot before I can then decide who should inherit in future. I don't even know where okay. my daddy's wardrobe is. This thing about inheriting, uh, there's one particular expression that we see. Next of mm. kin. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Who is a next of kin? Okay, so I was also going to say that that's another mistake that we make. Um, you go to the bank, you fill a form, you put, they ask you for your nest of kin, mm. you, you put a name. At the back of your mind, you are saying that if anything happens to me, that person should inherit, if it's that account or that property. The assumption is that we believe that a nest of kin is a beneficiary. No. A nest of kin is simply... Um, your closest living blood relation mm -hmm. that should be a like a contact person. So if anything happens to you, contact, contact person, who should they get in touch with? So if anything yeah. happens to me, for example, who should my organization be speaking so with? So who is going to educate us away from that one? Because <laughs> that's why we are here. <laughs> Take us from that. <laughs> <laughs> you find someone is happy to be next of kin. Of course. Not knowing he is not a beneficiary. So you would have probably seen and I me. do I do I do then apologize to your gender when um, they get married, when we get married, the fight and the force is over 
why have you not changed the nest of kin from your dad or your mom or your brother or sister to me? To me? And it's a big fight. Meanwhile, it is of no essence in terms of inheritance. You are not entitled to anything as a nest of kin. Hey. The person that is entitled to something the is beneficiary. a beneficiary. Hey. <laughs> you know, I was, but I was, there's no space for beneficiary on the form. No. You just asked me for a next of kin. Yes, but they then expect you to have an estate plan in place. See, uh, yesterday, when I was at that uh, yeah. event, I, I let her wait once again. <laughs> because I, I know that that's where your mind is. When I was at, you know, that election thing yes. yesterday, the, some of the things that the lawyer was saying was like, and we are fighting over elections. Meanwhile, these facts are there. Mm. Some things that we fight over were absolute bald dash because we, simply because we don't have the right information. And that's what you're telling us now. Yeah. So if anyone has been fighting over not being next of kin, they should please quit the In night. other words, you are not next. You, you could be you next of skin. Correct. For I'm all I next. care. <laughs> okay, so but take at us. your workplace, mm -hmm. as your next, if your next of kin is your wife, yeah. Should you? Well, okay. <clears throat> A man puts his wife as his next of kin in his place of work. Yeah. And he passes in the course of doing his work. So, his wife will be called to be informed that he has passed. Mm -hmm. And he's yeah. in XYZ hospital or whatever. And then his benefits will go to whom? His benefits will go to beneficiaries. No, he hasn't, put to, he hasn't put any. So, if he has not put any there... And he doesn't have a will mm -hmm. or a trust. Yes. It means that the family will go through the process of probate. They will then need to get a grant, sorry, a letter of administration. The letter of administration will then say who are the administrators mm. of his estate. Finish. It is the administrators. This story the law. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's, that's the whole essence of us talking about estate planning. And letting people know that, that like you said um, I, there are a number of things people fight for that are completely not necessary what you should be interested in is do you have an estate plan do you have a will do you have a trust those two instruments are the things that will give legitimate rights to beneficiaries to say yes this thing was passed to okay me. let me ask you this question hmm. I know that last time, I, think, I don't know if it was you that said that there were some people quarreling over an estate for more than 30 years. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So, it so happens that this fellow, a high scenario, passes and there was no estate planning. Mm -hmm. But there is a next of kin. Yeah. And the next of kin is, the, is now the current... Chairman CEO <laughs> of the estate, <laughs> assumably because of our culture. Mm. Now, what are the risks that the next of <laughs> what are the risks that the next of kin runs staying on that uh, estate? without this plan that you're talking about? Okay, so that, that essentially two risks. Number one is the risk on the organization who then decides that the benefits should go to the nest of kin. Hmm. If the family, let's say for example, just saying that the, the man had put his brother as the nest of kin, so the family, so the company calls the brother and says, take 50 million. If the wife, the spouse, gets a grant of probate that names her as the administrator of the estate, she can go back to the organization and say, I am now the administrator of this estate. We need the 50, 50 million. million the, company will be, the company will Liable. be required to pay. So that's risk number one. If he doesn't have a will, you should be looking at for the administrators. Do they have a letter of administration giving them the right? Risk number two is on the individual. If you have not managed the estate in a transparent manner, there's a liability coming up for you. <laughs> the spouse will simply sue you 
and uh -huh. expects to get plus interest. Yeah. And if she's smart enough, the charges that she would have incurred legal cost, she will Pass put them. it on you. <laughs> so it's important that we have what we keep saying at FBN Quest Trustees. Have an estate plan. Have a will. Have a trust. The simplest thing I would say that you should do is have a simple will. Uh, maybe we'll have an, an opportunity to discuss and touch on the subject of a simple way that is cost efficient, easy to easy to to implement. We were, we were, when we were talking earlier, you thought that it's so difficult. It looks like it's a hard process. There's a simple way that won't take mm -hmm. you more than thirty minutes to do, and it resolves all of this. We'll, we'll get Ladies to that. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I think that with all these points, <laughs> I have been able to convince you that it is very important. <laughs> That you have an estate planning process. Yes. But mm. the mm. next of kin, mm. is it possible that the next of kin can also be a beneficiary? Oh, yes, clearly. The next of kin can also be a beneficiary. But the benefit is going to enjoy is not uh, in his position as a nest, nest of, of kin. kin. It's in his position as a beneficiary. It's okay. But suppose that is not clearly stated. It comes back to another, another misconception, um, if you permit me, um, not wanting to use the right professionals. Some people would say that uh, if I, because FBN Quest Trustees is an organization, they might be more expensive to use. And uh, you, you know the difference between this level of hospital and this level of hospital, or this financial institution and this financial institution. The gap is much. The man with experience or the institution with experience can clearly give you the kind of solution that you require. And if you then know the professional, the right professional to use, it solves all of these problems. So it's important that when it comes to using the right instrument and how that instrument is even prepared, you need to be talking to the right people. And I do say you need to be talking to us at FBN Quest Trustees. Are there occasions when uh, next of kin also equals beneficiary? where the roles are interchangeable, even though the words are different. So the roles, the roles might appear as inter, in, interchangeable, where if I have a will, I then name the executors of my will, I use an individual as the executor of my will, which we do not advise for a lot of reasons. Now, that executor might also then be a beneficiary in my will. Okay. Now, why do we not, why do we advise that you use an institution as your executor, an institution like an institution. FBN Quest Trustees as your executor? Um, when it comes to being biased, you're dealing with an institution that will not be biased. They will deal professionally. So if you say this asset, this is how you want the assets distributed, they will work in a professional manner. If you use an individual, for example, and you then that individual then I like your face more than I like his face, so he is tempted to not give you preferential treatment, even though the we does not say that. Now, where the we is not clear as to distribution, he would then use to he would then need to use his own. Um, sentimental reasoning to decide how distribution should be done. But a professional institution named as an executor will not do that. Well, there, there is uh, someone who is uh, calling something to question on, on Twitter, uh, talking about the fact that uh, what, the, uh, I what Islam says about uh, estate planning, you want to speak to that? What Islam says. Yes. Ah, okay, uh, so. so. Someone says, as Muslims, Islamic religion has already stipulated who are the beneficiaries of a disease. It is clearly stated in the Holy Quran. Is that, is that something that is factored in? Oh, so it's clearly stated in the Quran. But the Quran also says, and even in some um, Sunnah, that also says that Prophet Muhammad, for example, says to Muslims that 
you sh if you have assets that you want to bequeath to the next generation, a night must not pass before you have a will in place. So it wow. clearly says to Muslims, you must have a will. Now the distribution of your assets is what Islam and uh, the Quran has also provided for. So if you have three sons, those three sons automatically know what they will get. If you have three daughters, the daughters automatically know you have surviving parents. It's spelled out the ratio that each person gets, which is what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, what Islam has also provided, which uh, just flowing from that, two-thirds of your assets, which legally speaking to, you cannot do anything or change the variation. Two-third goes to named beneficiaries. One-third, you can then do anything you like with which then flows to the very essence of having a will. I have a will, what do I want to do with my one third? Now, Islam recognizes the fact that if you are a Muslim, born in a Muslim family, and you decide to become a Christian, just saying, you have lost that out of that two third portion automatically. But that one third, the creator, the, the owner of the asset can then decide in his will that, okay, because you will not get anything from the two third, you get something from the one third. I can then name you as a beneficiary. I can also create a work. A work is a trust that takes care of the one third or the people that I will not take care of in my will. So as a Muslim, um, the Quran or the Islam has not prevented you from having an estate plan in place. Okay. It has said to you that you must have either a will or a work or even an IBA ensuring that your assets are That's properly an distributed. That's well, like a deed or gift. Just Prince like Balogun, <laughs> now you heard that one. But let me ask you this one. Hmm. Can somebody change the next of kin and... In that case, what are the implications? <laughs> <laughs> so, again, why, why, why are you bothered about a nest of kin when you should be bothering about beneficiary. a beneficiary? You can change it a hundred times if you want to. But what I think we should then start to ask ourselves, and our viewers should ask themselves, do you have an estate plan? And is your estate plan watertight enough for every beneficiary to know what they are entitled to. You know, just a quick one, because, uh, you mm. know, estate plan is always sounding to people like the estate where they live in. Mm. Um, well, how does it differ from a will? Okay, a will is an instrument that you use in planning your estate. Or, <laughs> let me see. So maybe we should try and change it from estate planning to inheritance planning, mm -hmm. if it will suit people, <laughs> suit people a lot. So inheritance planning. Um, your will is an instrument that you use to decide who should inherit what I have. Okay. Okay. Um, from all we have discussed so far, both two weeks ago and now, it seems that communication is playing a major, a major role yeah. in avoiding... Uh, so how, how can we use uh, communication to avoid potential conflicts among... Uh, family, family members, members regarding this so next, one, of skin. <laughs> <laughs> next of skin. Next of skin. <laughs> so one, one thing we need to do, which is what at Ben Quest Trust is we are constantly trying to do, is educate people. That's a means of communication. Now, I would expect that if um, agenda sees this discussion, she sends it to the next person, to the next person, and they are then able to amplify it on social media, because on social media you see a lot of people fighting over the fact that your husband is wicked, he has not changed the nest of kin from his mother <laughs> to you. So all of these conversations, and at FBN Quest Trustees, we will continue to have this conversation so that people are better enlightened and they are then ready to put the right things in place. Hmm. It's okay. <clears throat> we Next have uh, skin. Oh, what? Skin. <laughs> <laughs> Any other thing we might be missing, uh, Mr. Obende? Anything else you want to tell us? 
I'll, I'll just say that you need to start to speak to the right professionals, and the right professionals you can find at LBN Quest Trustees. We'll mm -hmm. give you the tailored made solutions that you fits say, you. One second, you have uh, 30 seconds. What's the website again? No, 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 we'll come to that. The simple way, what does it look like? Okay, so it's an online platform um, where you can just um, put in your details. You put in your details when you click submit. There are a number of steps. It's step by step process that mm. you need to you need to take. Um, once you do that, in less than thirty minutes, you just click submit. Okay. You see a simple draft, okay. and we can then have conversations with it's you. I, I believe that, that in some episodes we would have that conversation. So this is yeah. your website. Yeah. Okay. There's a there's a there's a platform that where you find what's, what's the What's the website by the way? Airbnb Quest. Okay. And forward slash trustees. Okay, so yeah. um, that is it right there uh, for those who want to. Yes, you wanted to ask a question. No, uh, the website. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. Thank Mr. you, Mr. Rochimi Obende, head private trust at FBN Quest Trustees. Thank pleasure is mine. Thank you very much. I man. wonder what you're going to have to talk to us about maybe next week or week after. You know, maybe he will be t asking us, you know, what happens when the, the one of the beneficiaries is a staff of FBN Quest. We're back right after now. <laughs> 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 Confusion. <laughs> Confusion.